right guys, in this lesson we're gonna do something really, really cool. We're gonna do some metaprogramming in Ruby to dynamically create STI classes and models for our notifications. So why would we wanna do that? Let's take a look at why. So here I've added a user model. User has many notifications as the recipient, so it is going to associate with the notification model we created in the last episode. The notification model, it doesn't actually store any of the information about the event, so like what comment or what post or whatever mentioned us, uh, that's actually stored in the related item event. So an event is what we create, it has many notifications and that keeps track of the recipients and the data stored in the event. So that's important because in our UI, we wanna say current user dot notifications, each do notification, we want to link to the notification and let's say they all have a message and the notification all has a URL that we want to link to. So our UI would actually be what renders this stuff out. And this isn't going to work because notification is going to reference the notification class which knows nothing about what uh, type of event happened. So it actually would have to say dot event dot message and then notification dot event dot URL. And this isn't so bad because we will jump to the notification, we'll then jump to the event, and instead of going to the event, single table inheritance will send us to either the new comment notifier or the mention notifier, and it will give us uh, one of these objects back which will have the message and the URL. The downside is this isn't very useful in some cases. So what if our uh, mention notifier needs to include the recipient ID in the URL. If we were to jump from the notification to the event to the URL, this is not going to know which recipient we actually want to include in the URL. It's just the event, it just knows the event data and all of the recipients. It doesn't know which one we're currently looking at. So in order to fix this, I came up with a really cool solution. What we could do is we could take the notification model and inside of every one of these notifiers, we could create a STI notification. So we could, in this namespace, say this inherits from notification, 